Tired of the underdog trope? Do battles with impossible odds leave you wanting more? Then get ready for a crash course in overpowered transfer students. These dudes waltz into a new school with abilities that leave Jaws on the floor, making the hardest spells feel like an absolute joke. Today on Animeology, we'll be taking a look at 10 anime with an overpowered transfer student, ready to break the school and maybe even the whole system. Number 10, God's Game We Play. There's no turning back. Our God's Game is about to begin! In a world far, far away, the all-powerful gods were born out of their minds. In typical god fashion, they launch a cosmic fame show to spice things up. The goal is to challenge mortals to a mind-blowing series of puzzles and challenges. The prize? Any wish your heart desires. Now, that's a juicy deal for our protagonist, who has just made his way from god knows where. He's a brilliant but jaded young man who's already racked up a few wins in this divine competition and nothing stopping him from collecting more. This isn't a memory game anymore. It's an interrogation. <laughs> now, the gods know this and have devised a special curveball for him. They pair him up with a former goddess. See, this once powerful deity got kicked out of the god club for reasons unknown, and she's hungry for a comeback. Together, this duo, a whip-smart human and a sassy ex-goddess with a chip on her shoulder, team up to outwit the gods in their own twisted games. It's a battle of wits, strategy, and maybe even a little bit of divine smack talk. Number 9, A Returner's Magic Should Be Special. Wait, what? Ever have one of those dreams where you totally ace that final exam you bombed years ago? Imagine if that dream was actually a second chance at life. In this anime, our protagonist Desert finds himself back in his academy days, just as he's about to resume on his magical training. He's not a wide-eyed newbie anymore. He carries the memories of a seasoned warrior who fought tooth and nail against monstrous threats in a future ravaged by these otherworldly dimensions. Fireball! Armed with this future knowledge, Desert sets out to rewrite his destiny and prevent the world from falling apart. But with a whole new timeline to navigate, he can't just steamroll everything. He'll need to use his tactical mind, train his old team who are clueless about the future doom, and maybe even exploit some loopholes in the magic system to ensure a brighter future for everyone. Number 8, The Demon Sword Master of Excalibur Academy. Phase 8 Gravity Manipulation Spell. Virazuo. Rack your brains for a second. You've snoozed for God knows how many years, only to wake up in a world obsessed with social media and instant ramen as a toddler. Our hero, now being reborn in a world under attack by creepy creatures called Void, is admittedly confused. Now way shorter than he used to be, he gets rescued by a spunky swordswoman. Turns out, the world's forgotten about demon lords and are now training warriors at a magical academy called Excalibur. Determined to understand this new world and maybe even uncover some secrets from his past, our pint-sized demon lord decides to enroll alongside his new friend. He flattened a whole row of Metacalcum Void simulators? Now, this man turned child is only small in size. When it comes to void born battles, you better find a log or a tree to hide behind, because Leonis ain't giving you an inch. Number 7, Chivalry of a Failed Knight. When you see through the branches and leaves to the root, you'll understand the truth, and you can overcome. This tale centers around Iki, a total underdog nicknamed the Worst One, at a prestigious academy for magic knights. Here, knights materialize their souls into powerful weapons. Iki's problem? His weapon is laughably weak. So here comes Stella, a prodigy from a foreign country who transfers to the academy and ends up rooming with Iki. Because, well, fate loves a good twist. Stella's the complete opposite, a fiery genius with an overpowered weapon. Their clash leads to a crazy duel with a high-stakes bet. The loser becomes the winner's servant, for life. Stella loses, but instead of lording it over, Iki becomes an unlikely mentor, determined to help Stella overcome her own challenges. So, does that make Iki overpowered? Not quite. The guy is a living example that techniques prevail over power, whopping the strongest geniuses with a normal looking sword and an insane skill set. Number 6, Charlotte. Uh, 
So, in this world, some teenagers develop superpowers upon hitting puberty, the normal stuff. But our protagonist, Yu, isn't a filthy normie. He unlocks the ability to take over someone's body for 5 seconds, perfect for acing tests and getting out of gym class, right? Wrong. Enter now, the super serious student council president who hunts down students misusing their powers. She forces you to transfer to a special academy for these superpower teens. There, they work undercover, using their abilities to help other students keep their powers a secret and stay safe. But it's not all fun and games. <laughs> One wrong move and these gifted are becoming government lab rats. So, you is supposed to go on this quest, understand what else his power does, and fulfill a grand mission, all while enduring No Sleep September. Number 5, Trinity 7. Execute Tamer. Imagine your life getting flipped upside down by a magical disaster that sucks your cousin into another world. Rough, right? Well, that's exactly what happened to our not-so-lucky protagonist. But the crazy part is that a magic book chooses him, gives him superpowers, and zaps him to a special academy filled with smoking hot mages. The catch? These mages, known as the Trinity Seven, are the key to getting his cousin back. Only problem? They're more interested in teasing him than, you know, saving the world. So, his story becomes a hilarious adventure where Aritza juggles his crazy new powers, tries to win over these powerful and a little fan servicey ladies, and ultimately fights to save his world and his cousin. But Arta has some of that Giga Chad gene, and this teasing is never one sided. Expect a whole lot of smooth returns and maybe a touch of romance, all wrapped up in one wild anime ride. Number 4 The Asterisk War. Asterisk is a city built on water, where elite academies train warriors with magical combat abilities. These students aren't just geeks in robes, though. They're celebrities who throw down in televised gladiatorial battles called festas. Now, Ayato Amagiri is a mysterious transfer student with a hidden past. He arrives at Seidoken Academy, once a powerhouse but now a struggling school. There, fate throws him together with the fiery Julius Alexia von Reisfeld, a swordswoman with a reputation as hot as her attacks. A hilarious first encounter quickly escalates into a duel. Then enlighten me, Lester. What's your reason for fighting? But before things get too out of hand, the Academy president intervenes. Instead of expulsion, Ayato finds himself enrolled and paired with Julius. Together, this unlikely duel sets out to revitalize Seidoken's reputation and climb the Festa ranks, with Ayato's shrouded past holding a hidden agenda and Julius harboring her own secrets. As they fight side by side, a bond begins to form between them. Is it just camaraderie forged in competition, or is there a spark of something more? Number 3. A regular at Magic High School. In this world, magic isn't just waving a wand and muttering spells. It's a complex science with different specializations. Our story follows Tatsuya Shiba, a seemingly ordinary dude who enrolls in a prestigious Magic High School alongside his little sister, Miyuki. Now, Miyuki's a prodigy, a total star student, while Tatsuya gets stuck in the weeds class, basically the magic rejects. But there's more to Tatsuya than meets the eye. Despite his low ranking, he possesses a mysterious ability and some serious engineering skills that make him a total enigma. As they get familiar with the school's social hierarchy and face external threats, Tatsuya acts as his sister's bodyguard, their sibling bond defying the school's strict class system. But how can one reject be strong enough to protect a prodigy? Fight Tatsuya and you'll have more than enough reasons. Number 2, Persona 5 The Animation. Man, he's always so cool. That's not cool, that's just reckless. Just think about this for a sec. You're the new kid at school, framed for a crime you didn't commit, and slapped with probation. But hey, things get even weirder when you download a mysterious app that unlocks a whole other reality, a twisted realm called the Metaverse. 
Here, adults' darkest desires manifest as giant, nightmarish palaces. But how is all of this related to you? Well, that's where you and a ragtag group of classmates come in. With the help of your awesome alter egos called personas, you become the phantom thieves of hearts. Come! Our set! You'll infiltrate these twisted palaces, steal the warped desires holding these corrupt adults hostage, and make them confess their crimes in the real world. It's a high-stakes game of mental thievery, with stylish battles, kick-ass personas, and a fight for justice against those who abuse their power. Number 1. Wistoria – Wand and Sword Okay, this one dives headfirst into the world of magic, coolest kids, sling spells, and wield staffs, but there's one student who totally throws a wrench in that picture. Will, our protagonist, is a dude that dreams of becoming a top-tier mage, but magic just doesn't click for him. Zilch? Nada. Shunned by his classmates, Will finds his niche in the Academy's monster-filled dungeon. Here, his incredible physical prowess and swordsmanship shine. He trains relentlessly, becoming a one-man monster slaying machine. This underdog story follows Will's journey to overcome prejudice, forge unlikely friendships, and prove that even without traditional magic, he can rise to the top, all while wielding a trusty blade and a whole lot of determination. 